Let me briefly discuss about how we can solve this problem. We need to determine the angle after deformation. I will call the angle after deformation as alpha. The initial angle is pi over 2. So the shear strain in this case would be pi over 2 minus alpha. To determine alpha, I will split that deformed element into two parts. First, I will consider this part. So I will consider the right triangle. How much would be the tangent of alpha 1 in this case? That would be 20 inch divided by 25 and 1 16 inch. Correct? So now I can determine how much is the tangent of this case. So that would be 20 divided by 25 and 1 16. The reverse of tangent here gives me alpha. So alpha 1 would be 0 0.6760 radian. And in the second case, I need to consider the left triangle. Alpha 2 in this case is 31.25, the top length, divided by 25 and 1 16th. So tangent of alpha 2 would be this one, and alpha 2 would be equal to 0.8973 radian. How much is the total angle after deformation? would be alpha 1 plus alpha 2. And the change in the angle which we are looking for would be pi over 2 minus alpha 1 plus alpha 2. So the change in the angle would be negative 0 0.00248. If I convert that into microradian, that gives me 2480. I ignore the sign here. I know the sign would be positive because the angle is getting smaller. All right, that is the answer of this problem.